so welcome to another edition of Ed's Model Madness. Talked about my 2016 Chevrolet Camaro SS from AMT. It's a 125th scale model. It's in my cancer awareness build video uh, that I put out recently. So I'm going to go ahead and do the, uh, the kit review on this. Before I get started on that though, I just want to show you something real quick. In that same video where I did the, uh, the cancer awareness, I told you that I had this one in the bath of super clean. And as you can see, it was all red before, and uh, that's a week of sitting in super clean. That one's ready for another paint job, or at least another attempt. So, uh, and that's actually this kit here. It's the uh, Revell Snap Tight uh, Camaro Concept Car. Now the reason why I want to go ahead and get this review done since I got the the car out of the super clean bath is I want to put the wheels for both of these kits in the super clean so I can strip the uh, the chrome plating off of them anyway so without further ado let's go ahead and get this one opened up and hopefully everybody can see what we're doing here so all right first impressions molded in red and black uh, that's that's nice there's some chrome pieces some of the clear pieces it's nice that they actually have the uh, the black around the windows they've even got the tail lights um, have the clear portion for the reverse lights in there so uh, so that's that's really cool and there's some other oh those those look like the headlight lenses so yeah so cool oh okay here's another surprise so not only is this kit molded in red in black but it's also molded in a gray and you got the chrome plated pieces so that's really nice and I'm assuming that these are the decals yeah you can kind of see the decals through it uh, I'm not gonna open these up uh, right now until I get ready uh, to possibly use them I might not even use these because I am doing the uh, Camaro black concept instead of doing this one in red so all right anyway let's kind of go through each one of these a little bit um, yeah, this is a lot of uh, a lot of plastic baggies so it's packaged really well so okay so the body um, there's there's a little bit of an imperfection in the plastic uh, the way it's molded so if you were uh, not wanting to paint this car um, have a hard time hiding that uh, there's another uh, little bit of an imperfection across the door uh, there's a mold line right here in the back across across the the rear fenders on both sides so that'll have to be sanded down a little bit um, and it's a little rough right here on the front fender too so yeah definitely gonna have to do a little bit of cleaning up on this a uh, little bit of flash right around the bottom of the valence uh, I don't know if that would get covered up by something else but uh, again there's there's a bit of a mold line across the front fender there so yeah you would have a hard time uh, trying to build this model and and not paint it um, I, I just don't think that there'd be any way of covering all that up so this next screw is all interior pieces and you got the uh, the back seat the floorboard the center console um, and give you door panels and the front bucket seats uh, it's the two halves the the front and the back and give you the dashboard steering wheel uh, the column the shifter so all the pieces to uh, to build the interior of the car 
and uh, it looks like it's pretty well detailed um, the molds are nice and clean uh, in fact it's I'm not sure if you can even see but the speaker panel is actually they're perforated uh, it really does look like a, a speaker panel all right so this next piece here you got the inside uh, fender wells for underneath the hood uh, the air intake uh, looks like some fuel rails possibly serpentine belts uh, some suspension components here front grille yeah some of this I'm, I'm not real sure exactly uh, what pieces are but looks like possibly ignition wires right here yeah just not not real sure about that but it's very well done uh, it looks clean it's uh, nice and sharp so those those look good and on this other sprue um, okay here's your lower front valence for the car uh, they've got windshield wipers here some more looks like possibly suspension components there the engine cover the radiator fan shroud this is the grill insert it's got the Chevy emblem on it shock tower strut brace looks like and another piece of the lower uh, suspension so very nicely done okay so this is uh, the underbody components you have the exhaust system for the car uh, looks like the fuel tank maybe a uh, scuff plate of some kind to go underneath the car valve covers possibly this is the hood of the car and the rear spoiler two outside mirrors and again there's some imperfections in the plastic so that that would be really hard to get away from without uh, having to paint but the nice thing about this is uh, all the all the moldings are, are nice and crisp so everything looks really good as far as you know detail um, it's just like I said you, you definitely have to paint this one on here you've got your brake rotors and the uh, the brake calipers now they don't look like they're slotted uh, they might have decals that go on them here's your engine components so your engine block transmission uh, oil pan uh, this looks like the front end of the engine where the accessory drives are going to go exhaust manifolds end of the back end of the transmission here starter very uh, very nice detail on those you don't really need to open this up to show you but I like you know getting my hands on them and everything so here are the tires and they are uh, directional uh, they've got a really nice tread pattern nice four really low profile tires and of course they'll go with these pieces here and they even put a piece of tissue paper between the uh, the chrome wheels so uh, don't get all scratched up and everything these are the exhaust tips which uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just leave those chrome because uh, that'll be a nice touch sticking out the back of the car um, this whole thing being black have those chrome tips sticking out the back so the wheels the wheels look really nice uh, nice detail on those got your inside rear view mirror now I'm not gonna open this uh, I, w I want this to stay in the bag until I'm ready to use it but like I said the uh, the rear window on the car see if you can get a look at that or not um, the rear window actually has the, the defrost rear defrost printed on the window so that that's an amazing detail right there and it has the uh, the the visors for for inside the car and it's all one piece so you can paint the inside of this you know so it actually looks like the headliner inside the car so really nice all in all I would say uh, my first impression of this kit is uh, this is going to be a really, really nice build. Um, it's got a lot of detail uh, just in, in the, the plastic parts themselves. 
So, the instructions. Um, got a nice picture of the uh, the box art from the cover. Uh, paint colors, and it gives you three different languages here. Um, so, little description about the model and how to put it together. Uh, but as you can see, the instructions are large. They're very clear. They're they're printed uh, really nice. They have all of the information in there about uh, part numbers, what colors you would want to paint different things. And it opens up, so it goes from the engine to the suspension. Uh, the underpinnings on the vehicle. Putting the wheels and the tires on it, putting the exhaust on. Yeah, what? Well, I actually said that that was the gas tank earlier. <laughs> That's the muffler. Oops. Uh, interior. And uh, some of the interiors actually got decals that will go uh, for the speedometer and the radio uh, cluster. Not sure what they call radio cluster, but it's that, that digital you know touch screen that a lot of the vehicles have in them nowadays. Um, and then... Uh, all your assembly of, of your different components, uh, putting all, all your little details and this and that into it. And of course, it goes into final assembly. The instruction sheet looks really nice, so that's a plus. Well, there you have it. That is my kit review. For my 2016 Chevrolet Camaro SS, um, and like I said, this is going to turn into a 2016 Camaro black concept vehicle for my cancer awareness build. So if you're following along, um, just check back periodically, hit the notification button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. So you'll know when I do my next video, when I start actually assembling this vehicle. I got a lot of things coming up uh, real soon that uh, it's probably going to take a lot of my time but uh, I'm going to work on it as I can and uh, really want you guys to, to get a chance to see things you know as, as it's going together so anyway thanks for watching I appreciate it and hope that you guys have a really really great day God bless you all bye